Greetings everyone, Joseph James here with the newsletter brought to you by the School of Trade.com. Today was August 21st, 2009, Friday here, third week of August. I want to remind you guys we have a free resource online. Please check out our YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash School of Trade. And when you get there, guys, lots of great videos. When you, when you watch them, please rate and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page. Let's talk about our trade room totals. Now, as you guys know, we keep you guys posted on our results every single day. Today we brought in 65 bucks, went three for four in the market today, took a loss that gave back some of that money here just half of the day today. We'll go over that in a second. 245 this week. Consistency is the key here, guys, right? Notice how we're not giving any money back to the market. That's the most important thing because our monthly total here, just shy of two grand now, 1790 there on four contracts here in the month of August. Now, as you guys know, today was OPEX. The term of the day today is OPEX. And of course, what is OPEX? Well, OPEX stands for Options Expiration Friday. Now, you may have heard terms such as triple witching as well. So let's talk about that. What is OPEX Friday? Well, it's the third Friday of the month. If the first day of the month is a Friday, then OPEX is the fourth Friday of the month. It's the third Friday of the month unless the first day is a Friday. Now, this is when standardized options expire on Saturday following the third Friday of the month. So tomorrow, these options expire. And as you can imagine, because today is the last trading day before options expire, well, we call it OPEX Friday. Now, of course, the third Friday of the month, OPEX, this day offers the least number right, of scheduling conflicts. So the reason why they have it on Saturday is because you're never going to have a federal holiday or any non-trading day on a Saturday, right? So that's why they have options expire on Saturdays. Oftentimes, people think that the options actually expire on Fridays. They don't. They actually expire on Saturdays. And again, because Friday is the previous day to that Saturday, that's why we pay close attention to it here on Friday, OPEX Friday. Now, you're also going to hear a term called triple witching. Now, triple witching sounds kind of funny, right? But what does it mean? What does triple witching mean? Well, triple witching is the third Friday of the four months of March, June, September, and December. Now, these, of course, are the ends of the four quarters, right, in our in our business year, right, or our cyclical, right, calendar year here. So, of course, the end of each quarter, the third Friday of March, June, September, and December. Well, this is what we call triple witching. And this is when options, index futures, and, of course, the options on those index futures, this is when they all expire concurrently. So triple witching is going to be a little bit like options, right, like, like OPEX on steroids, right? It's kind of the big daddy of all OPEX Fridays. So four times a year, we have triple witching. And you want to mark that down in your calendars because those triple witching times are very difficult on us as traders. We see massive trades in options and, of course, the underlying stocks by different types of traders, whether it be fast time frame traders, slow time frame traders, scalpers, swing traders, whatever it is. We see all these huge orders come through that causes above average volume and unpredictable volatility. Now, of course, we love volume and we love volatility. But when it comes in the form of very unpredictable or without any real reason, other than, of course, it being triple witching, it becomes a very dangerous situation. And so we're trying to, of course, trade with the volume, trying to trade with the volatility. But if we don't know where it's coming from and why it's showing up, well, of course, that can kind of keep us uh, kind of on our heels a little bit. So make sure you remember triple witching is a little bit different than just options expiration Friday. Now, of course, come out and join us tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Right? Today's Friday. So come out and join us on Monday morning at 7.30 a.m. And we'll talk about triple witching. We'll talk about OPEX. We'll go over what Wacky Wednesday is. Right? That's the Wednesday before OPEX. And, of course, we open up the room on Monday at 7.30 a.m. Tuesday through Friday, it opens up at 2.45 a.m. We'll trade the European session at 3 a.m. We'll trade the U.S. pre-market at 8 a.m. We'll trade the U.S. session at 9.30. And, of course, we have three very simple jobs to identify, adjust, and execute. And we'll show you guys how we do all this in live, real time, as you watch we call trades according to our entry rules of the James Wave method of trading. Let's take a look at some of the trades we took today here in the live trade room. Now, as you guys know, summertime here in August, we see a little bit of a slowdown, right, during the month of August. So we're always looking for as many trades as we possibly can get our hands on. They're usually pretty tough to find here as we, as we work our way through this slow month of August. 
Today, though, pretty well. We did took, took four trades according to our rules today. The first trade here this morning was at 9 o'clock on the crude futures, symbol CL. 9.04 exactly. This is a two-step long at 97. Now, of course, as you can see here, I've marked this blue line, and you'll notice that this two-step long was coming after we had seen some sort of swing high in the market. Now, what you can't see on this snapshot is the previous short-term trend down in this case. Okay, so of course, when looking for a long two-step, it's going to be because of the short-term trend being to the downside. So price is trying to move down, but of course, we see a swing high here. We will use that swing high. The swing high here in this example is at 96. Of course, we're looking for follow through, so 96, 97, right, 98, looking for something above that area. And of course, we took that long at 97. Took a total of six ticks out of the market there at 904. So at 10 bucks a tick, there's your 60 bucks in your pocket, first of all. We, of course, continued to wait patiently for some more trades here. We were trying to take a two step here long again back just before 915, 930 here. We saw an exhaustion pattern, a stutter step pattern as price was moving back down here towards the 73 and 3 quarters level. That exhaustion pattern, of course, gave us a heads up that we may be looking for a reversal here. We looked for it, didn't really fit our rules, of course, so we decided to disqualify that trade right, right before 915. Keep moving here, guys. Next up on the crude, we took our next trade in the crude at 1014 this morning. 14 minutes past the hour of 10 o'clock. This, again, a two-step long here on the crude at 40 even. Now, this was a loss. We took a loss here, small loss, with an early exit for negative four ticks per contract. So four contracts is a total of negative 16 ticks. So we made six on our first trade, gave back 16. At this point, we're underwater by 10 ticks here on the crude. It wasn't long thereafter we made that money right back, all the way there in the lower right-hand corner of this chart, 1037. We had just watched as a two-step failed back to the long side. We were looking for another one to set up here, and we got that second entry here for this two-step, 1037. Again, another two-step long here at 12. Had to break above that blue line there. As you can see, we marked up our swing high with that pink or magenta circle there. Once we broke above that swing high there at 9s, right, 7409, we got long at 12s, right, two, three ticks above, looking for that follow-through, and, of course, pull, picked up nine ticks there. So we made six ticks first trade, gave back 16 in the second trade, and then we made nine back. So now, at the end of the morning here on crude, we were down by only one tick. So a great example of how we can take a stop, stay focused on finding the next best possible high probability entry, we get back in the trade with confidence, and we make that money right back. Right? No fear, guys. The mentality of a trader means that we're going to go into the heat of battle with our rules in hand and take these trades with confidence, knowing that losses are always a possibility. But because we are confident with our consistency, we take these trades with confidence. Now, of course, here's the final trade we took here today. Well, not the final trade, taken at 1029. So it was taken between those two trades there on crude. Just before 10.30 here on the Euro, now we were happy to see some opportunities here in the Euro because we hadn't seen a lot of trades this, this whole month of August here in the Euro. 10.29 on the Euro, symbol 6E, two-step long here at 16. Once again, as you can see, we marked this blue line, which marked our most recent swing high. And then, of course, we waited for follow-through above that 13. So 43.13, we were then looking for that follow-through to show us that we had some definite interest on the buy side, right? That term follow through we use. Check out our other videos here on YouTube and you'll see a video titled follow through. I believe it was August 7th, I think it was. Yep, August 7th. Check that video out for, for a term called follow through. Okay, so here of course, we took profit at three and then got bounced back out at our point of entry because we move our stop up to our point of entry. So a total of six ticks there. So of course, that brings in six times $12.50 USD per contract, which puts us at our total today for 65 bucks on four contracts. Once again, guys, I want to show you guys this stuff live in real time. So come out and join us in our trade room on Monday morning. It opens up at 7.30 a.m. We do free webinars on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11.30. So make sure you come out and join us for that. We'll trade any market. We give you live trade calls with entries, targets, and stops, so feel free. All the shadow traders out there, come out and join us and take some trades along with us. There will be plenty of opportunities for questions and answers, guys, so come and bring those questions with you. We'll give you a free three weeks as part of our free trial. The beginner's course is highly recommended for free trial members. And please, guys, rate and comment on this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page. Drop us an email, sales at schooloftrade.com. 
My name is Joseph James. I want to thank you guys for your time today. We'll see you in the room, 7.30 a.m. Monday morning. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next time.